Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Angie and today I'm going to be doing my Sephora VIB sale haul. So before I get started, if you like me, if you like this video, just click the subscribe button down below to see more future videos. Give me a like, leave me a comment, follow me on other social media which I will list down below. And with that, we are going to get started on this haul. Next, I have the Benefit Stay Don't Stray Primer. This is my favorite eyeshadow primer. And I find that it works really well. And it also comes in two colors, light medium and medium dark, for people with different skin tones. So this is a good primer. I would recommend trying that out. All right, and then next we have this double set of the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Together is only $40, so that's $20 per each. And then I got another 20% off, so these came close to $16, which is actually a pretty good deal because that's about what the Maybelline one is. But um, I don't really care for that one. I've tried it and it just I just don't care for it. So these are definitely a lot better. I love this setting spray. This is the only setting spray that I will use now. Unless I get one like in a sample or something, I will only purchase these because these are like $30 individually. So super, super good deal on it. All right, and then next we have this. This brand is called um, It's Skin. So this was like $10, I think. And this is called body ice cream, so it's pretty much like body like lotion. So it's pretty much just like cream to like moisturize, and they kind of look like. And this is the one out of it. I got like three of these, so two are for my friends, and then one's for me. But um, so it kind of looks like a little ice cream container, and it says cookie and body ice cream. And it says original strawberry or mint, so these boxes are checked like if it was like an ice cream that you bought. And it does look like ice cream, so you open it up, and this is what it looks like. So it kind of looks like chocolate chip ice cream. Let's feel it. It feels like super creamy, and the little like um, little black flecks they dissolve, so that's good. But they're supposed to be super moisturizing for your skin. So I bought it because I thought it was really really cute. And it's made in Korea, and we know that Korea has pretty good skincare. It's been popular recently. So that's why I bought this. So this is one of my gifts for people. All right, so next we're going to go on to the big one. So next is this set, which is the Too Faced Christmas in New York Grand Hotel Cafe. So I don't know if it's supposed to be grande, like, because it's cafe, like coffee. And then, um, so this little set... They always have like some set with like multiple eyeshadow palettes and this year's theme was New York last year it was Paris I believe and so you get this cool little house so this is what the house looks like and it has a tree on the back and the top comes off and these little doors open to reveal the inside so this is just a little card and it just kind of gives you some eyeshadow looks if you want to try them out and so in this so we'll take off the little top and it also has a the Better Than Sex mascara in here, which is also really popular. I like that one a lot too. And then so we have three eyeshadow palettes in here. And this is what the inside looks like. See how cute that it would be just to like keep on display. So now we have three eyeshadow palettes. So there's the Gingerbread Cookie, there's the Eggnog Latte, and there's the Peppermint Mocha. And they're super cute. They look like little books. And then on the back it says to and from. So you can like gift them to individual people, which is what I'm planning on doing. I'm gifting this one to myself. So I'll swatch this one for you guys. I haven't swatched these before, but I will go through these one by one. And and one thing that's really cool is that they smell like whatever kind of latte it is. So this one's a peppermint mocha. So if you take off the plastic, it smells kind of like peppermint. It's not super strong. It's not really like the chocolate one or... Um, but they are super cute. So this one is peppermint mocha, so it's kind of like pink and white themed. So we have a white, we have um, Christmas blend, we have, so I'm just going to go through, not the names, but I'm just going to go. So there's a white, there's a, there's a lot of shimmery shades, and the only matte shade is candy cane and the peppermint cream. And then you have a blush. So that's the first one, one of the ones that I am giving away. And then next we have the eggnog latte, and this one smells like eggnog. So this one's really cute too. It doesn't really, I think the only one that really fits the eggnog thing is that gold shade right there, which is called eggnog latte. 
But all the shades are really pretty. There's brown, another white matte shade, and then a brown matte shade. So they put two matte shades and four shimmer shades is what it's looking like. And a blush, and this is called Peach Cobbler. So this one's peach, the other one was pink. So the last little palette that I'm keeping for myself is Gingerbread Cookie. And this one is a super, super dramatic one. So this one also smells like gingerbread. And this one actually has three matte shades. And I really like matte shades, so I'm glad I picked this one. So this one's really, really great. So we have, so I'll go through this one. So this one has ginger cream. And I guess we'll just start swatching on the arm. So first we have the shade ginger cream. And this is a matte nude shade, which I think will be really good as a base. So it looks pretty pigmented. Can you guys see that? And I'm just going to swatch it. You probably won't be able to see it that well. Oh, actually, it did show up. Oh, it doesn't look... It is matte, but it doesn't look like super matte. Those are actually pretty pigmented. I get kind of worried with the holiday sets for Too Faced because a lot of times when I see like these like sets that they come out with that are special edition or like Christmas, they're not as good as their normal palettes. So that is really refreshing to see. All right, and then next we have Maple Syrup, which is a brown shade. So these shades... These matte shades, actually all these shades are like my, they're all, like, they're all shades that I would definitely wear. The only reason why I didn't give this one away is because these two shades, I didn't think that people would be able to wear that well. And I'm like the friend that's like super, super into makeup. Alright, so this one is Maple Syrup, so that one also looks pigmented. All these are pretty good, I actually like these. Alright, so now Ginger Snap, we'll see how this one looks. It looks like... Kind of, I don't know, it's like a caramel gold kind of color. I don't know how else I would describe it. Okay, this one feels not very soft. It looks very shiny, but there, there's not chunks of glitter in this one. It just looks really foiled. Okay, so when I swatch that one, you can't tell as much, but it's kind of patchy, and there are there are chunks of glitter in here. I can see that. So this one does not apply as well as the matte. Um, oh, you can kind of see that it's like patchy. But you can see up here where it kind of lost a little bit of it. But I think you could build that one up. It would definitely be good to use MAC Fix Plus or something like that. So I can definitely work with that one. And then I also have Winter Dream, which is kind of like a lavender foiled shade. And that one looks like similar in finish to Ginger Snap. So we will see. I can also I can definitely feel the glitter in this one. Let's see how that one applies. So these two don't apply very well, but when you apply them, the glitter definitely spreads itself evenly. The pigment itself is not spreading itself evenly, but I think that I can work with that. So that is fine. All right, so next we have Cup of Joe. So this one isn't a shimmer shade, but it does have glitter in it. I can see it in there. So and Cup of Joe is just a dark brown. This one's a lot softer, and I can definitely tell that it's more pigmented. Yeah, see, look at that. That is pigmented. So that is awesome. And then last, and then last eyeshadow, we have Black Coffee. It doesn't look super black. It looks almost like a blue-gray black. But... And it's decently pigmented. It's not as, like, pigmented as my favorite black shadows, but it's probably not supposed to look like that. And then lastly, I think you could use this, I'd probably use this as like a contour shade almost, if not a blush. And that one I feel like I'm rubbing it, but I don't feel like I'm picking anything up off of it. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. So see, it doesn't seem like super pigmented, but sometimes for blushes I like them not to be too pigmented, because I put my brush in like Becca blushes, like once, and it just instantaneously, I look like a clown. And I can't really blend it out that well. So this is super, super cute. I think these eyeshadows are pretty good. So at least the eyeshadows I swatched in here are pretty good. I'm hoping the other ones are the same way. So the other ones didn't really seem to have these two finishes. And I really like the mattes. The black is okay. The black seems like a buildable kind of black. So it's not bad. And I think I could definitely use gingerbreads. The gingerbread large contour shade. So that's good. And it comes with the Better Than Sex Mascara, which I love. So that's awesome. And the packaging's super cute. You give it to one, you give it to yourself. You give it to one person and give them everything. You give it to three people. 
these little sets, these little guys are great for travel and they're scented. Too Faced always does the cutest packaging. So that was that set. So sticking with the idea of these sets, so I like to split up the set. So I have like the body cream, I'll put an eyeshadow palette, I'll throw a lipstick in a set and then give it to a gift for one person. So I get a large variety of things. I don't really like buying people like just one thing. So I try to get them like a few like smaller items for Christmas. So sticking with the sets, these, these last two sets I'm keeping for myself. Then no one's getting these, these are mine. I'm greeting. So first we have the Bite Beauty, the Perfect Bite set. So these are all their Amuse Bouche lipsticks, which are usually, pretty, this was $25, and usually they're $26, which is more expensive than the other lipsticks they have, but I've heard nothing but good things in them. Um, from what I remember hearing, they're food grade. I believe that's like a step above cosmetic grade in terms of like what's required and all that stuff. So you could eat them, but I don't know if you want to. So it comes in this little red tin, so it's a cute little tin, and you get four shades. So when you open it up, oh, it even has a mirror. So this little guy has a mirror in it, super cool. That's actually really useful. So it has all the different shades, so there's four different shades. They're all kind of like nude and then one darker shade, which I don't mind. And all the packaging is like little mini Amuse Bouche packaging. And I really like the matte packaging. It's kind of like NARS packaging, which I think is super, super cute. Leave me alone. All right, so this first shade is Fig. And it looks like this. So these are all just really little lipsticks. That's fine. And I'm assuming these are the same formula. That's kind of what I was banking on getting the minis. So we're just gonna swatch that. Okay, so it looks pretty pigmented. It smells like minty, minty almost. So this is just a pinky nude, the usual. It seems to apply well. It's like, it's not extremely patchy, but there are like little patches. But maybe that's just my skin. And then next we have the shade Pepper. So Pepper is a dark nude. It kind of reminds me of Lolita. That's what that looks like from Kat Von D. So it takes a couple of swipes to get these to go over, but they look super, super creamy. And that one looks like that. They, they're they pigmented, but I don't think that they're like overly pigmented. I would probably wear a lip liner under these. I'm used to using liquid lipstick, so it's kind of hard for me to have to be like, I have to wear a lip liner underneath this because I never wear a lip liner that often. Unless I'm wearing a lipstick, because I don't need them under a liquid lipstick, which I wear most of the time because they're long wear. And this one is kind of more of a brownie nude, and this is the shade Honeycomb. I remember everybody was going nuts over the shade. All the bloggers were all loving this shade because people like their nude lipsticks. This one's actually more pigmented than the other ones, I think. So this is just like a brownie, peachy nude. These are all definitely like my color. I really can't wait to try these out. I think I'm gonna start trying them out like tomorrow, and they're super nice. You can throw them in like a clutch, which is a way easier to go out with it, like, or your purse, or just, you can put these in your pocket. If you put like, chopstick in your pocket, you could throw these in your pocket. And last is the shade Nori, and this shade is a dark red-ish. Red-ish, nude-ish, I don't know how to describe. I don't know how to describe colors. It looks like this. Is that my hair? So this one, I don't really know, but it seems to be applying more pigment in others. It's pigmented, but like, there's like chunks of it coming up. So that's what that looks like. So super pretty, but you can kind of see there's like a little difference. I don't know if you can, but there's a slight difference in pigmentation where I had to go, where I went over it more times than one. These seem super cute. I'm very excited to try these and do a review on them. And I like getting little sets because I can do reviews. I don't get scent makeup for free. So I like to do reviews on little sets so I can try a bunch of colors. I don't like trying one color and then assuming if a formula is good or not because sometimes they're inconsistent. I had that with the Jouer lipstick, the Jouer liquid lips. I had that kind of issue with the Jouer liquid lipsticks. I liked one way, way more than the other. So I like to be able to try out more of them so I could see if it's maybe just a formula issue. 
Because if I don't like like three of them, I'm not going to like any of them. Okay, and then lastly we have my favorite set. And this one isn't like a, I don't think this one was like considered like a great, great deal other than my 20% off. So this is a really, really pretty gift if you want to get this for someone special. Like, like yourself. That's what I did. So, and this one wasn't like a value. Like usually they'll tell you like the value of them. This one they didn't tell you there's that you were getting a good deal. So this is a Marc Jacobs Up All Night 5 Piece Petite Lamarck Lip Cream Collection. So it's in this really pretty shiny packaging. I think this is gorgeous. I think I'm going to put this up. This is going to display on my bookshelf because I think this is just way too cute. So, and then it comes in this really, really pretty little travel case. This would actually be good to keep like all your lipsticks in or just keep little things in in your purse or just anything. And it has this tassel. Super cute. Looks like it should be hanging off the doorknob and it has the same shiny color. They also have a little mini brush set which is also the same finish and like style of packaging only it's like a blue color. So you open it up and it says Marc Jacobs. The inside's super pretty and it has them nicely laid out in here. And you can take out this little inside velvet part so you can actually put what stuff you would like in here. So you get five lipstick shades and this was $50 so each of them are so each of these are ten dollars, which is kind of expensive. But what do you do? Okay, so we're just gonna go through these one by one. Um, I like the Marc Jacobs lip liner. I haven't tried really any other Marc Jacobs products because they're really expensive. But um, so we're just gonna go through these shades. These actually look kind of big. I think they they're bigger than the Bite Beauty lipsticks, which is something that would be super awesome. Let's see. Oh no, they're not any bigger. Just as a typical Marc Jacobs wide style lipstick with a little dot in the front and the little Marc Jacobs on the side looks super super cute again you could separate this throw this into different ones and this first one is the shade Scandal so this is a purple color which is a super trendy um, that one applied kind of patchy okay it has a nice finish to it it's kind of shiny I don't know if any of these are matte which is fine I'm trying to I'm trying to get more into not matte lips because I love matte lips, so I have to try to break out of my comfort zone. And the next one is the shade Oh Miley. So this one's a bright red, classic red color. I don't know if I'll wear this one that much because I don't really do red. That one's super creamy and pigmented. I think it's more pigmented than the first one. Number three is the shade No Angel, which is a nude color. It's super, super nude. It's kind of a brownie nude. All of these seem to be decently pigmented. One thing I forget about lipsticks is sometimes you do kind of have to go over a couple of times. But I think these are more pigmented than the Bite Beauty lipsticks, to be honest with you. So the next color is Slow Burn, and this kind of has more of a pinky color to it. Ooh, this one was super creamy, and it looks like that. That one applied great from the start. Oh, I got lipstick on me! Why do I have to do this to myself? Why do I hate myself? I gotta figure out how to get lipstick out of this shirt. Alright, next we have Miss Scarlet. So this looks similar, shimmer. So this is kind of a brick red color, which is what this looks like. Okay, so we'll apply that one. Oh, oh my goodness. That was one swipe. Do you see that? That is actually really good. And you do it in two. Oh my gosh. These are these are really, really good. I'm really impressed. I am more impressed with these than the Bite Beauty lipsticks. But maybe once I wear the Bite Beauty lipsticks, I will be super, super impressed. So this is a really good set if you want a good set of lipsticks. It is kind of costly for what you're getting. Someone that you want to get a nice set of lipsticks for, this, get them this lipstick set. I am obsessed with these. Alright, so that was the end of my Sephora VIB haul. I will be doing a Black Friday haul because I can't stop buying makeup. I have a problem. I know this. So, if you like this video, click the subscribe button down below. Let me know what you got at the VIB haul in the comments down below. Give me a like. Follow me on other social media. And I think that's going to be it for today. I will see you guys in my next...